Dinos and dynamic climbing is an important skill for everyone looking to up their grade and improve as a climber. In this video, Louis is going to be coaching us through some advanced dynamic climbing techniques and giving us tips on how we can improve and practice them on our own. So Louis is going to tell us what we're going to run through today and tell us why dynamic climbing is important. I thought Louis was the best person for this as he is probably the most dynamic climber of all time. That's Practi correct. Practically a tigger of yes. the climbing world. This is my favourite intro so far. I'm very, very happy with this. So, uh, yes, I've been practising flouncy, bouncy dance moves on the climbing wall for a long time. And a few specific things I want to do today. I thought we'd go for some slightly more advanced stuff that I've done in previous cool. videos, if you want to have a look at those. So, I want to start off with a drill that I do quite often when I'm warming up. We're going to get onto an easy climb, we're going to make up some dinos, and we're going to talk about how we can chain movements together and use excess momentum from a previous move to feed into the next move. So that when we get onto some harder challenges, of which I have three for Josh, we're going to practice <laughs> consistency and building confidence by repetition. It will be a lot of challenge, it will be a lot of fun, we'll fall off a lot and laugh, it's going to be great fun. Beautiful. I'm excited. And we're going to show you also, we're going to give you tips on things you can take away and practice at home so that instead of just watching this video, you can go away and practice and become a better dynamic climber as well. Perfect. Do perfect. what you see in the video, it's going to be perfect. Then you'll be as good as Josh and as good as me. As good as Louis. As be, good as, be as good as Louis, don't be as good as me. He's going to be as good as me <laughs> by the end of the video. Let's go. I'm going to beat Louis at every single dynamic thing <laughs> after this. I'm here, I can hear you. Yeah, I, I said it loud. <laughs> Up to you folks how hard you want to make this. I sometimes do this on like absolute mega jugs. We're already a little bit warm, so I've gone for still mega jugs, but a slightly more difficult route. I think this one's like V3, V3 V4. V4. But Josh is very tall and very strong, so this is an appropriate level for very Josh. Cool. Um, I would like you to do the following. Yes, sir. Grab, grab the hold. Yes. Dino to that one. Okay. I don't think that's going to be too bad for you. Am I allowed to reach? Mm, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> to do what you want to, but get that hold. Yes. And then get to the top however you want. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I can, well. One of the difficulties for Josh, for you, uh, you're very tall and you're very strong. So okay. the incentive to dyno certain moves actually doesn't come up that often. You yeah. can just reach. But then when you come across a very dynamic move, you're not as well practiced. Yeah. So although it is definitely, in this instance, easier for Josh just to reach the next hold and then reach the next one, we're going to start getting more intentional with the amount of momentum you're using. Cool. Okay? So go for that first one again. Yes, but sir. this time I want you to go both hands for it. Both hands. And I also, want you, to go, one, I? I also want you to go both hands for the top as well. Ooh, fun. Yeah, I know. That's not scary. <laughs> oh, I have to think about this quite a lot. Yeah, more. now. Lovely, that's loads better. Can I use any feet? Anything you like, man, anything you like. If you're finding it scary, this is not just for Josh, but also people trying this at home. Um, I think dynamic movement is entirely based on two skills, timing, which we'll learn as we practice this stuff, cool. and confidence, which we will learn as we practice this stuff. So if you're finding it scary, that's fine, that's normal. Keep doing it, it'll become more familiar. So, okay, now let's talk about chaining those movements together. Because yeah. I think you notice you generate loads and loads of power to get the first dyno, yeah. then we stop, stabilize, then generate loads of power for the next move. Yeah. I'm gonna leave you to work on it yourself for a little bit, okay. but I want you to try and find the, it's a tricky one to balance, mm -hmm. the fastest way to link those two dinos together, okay. but not at the expense of just using loads more strength. Okay. So ideally, it's gonna be based on timing, where he lands, where he swings, when he pushes into the next move. Oh, no. That was pretty nice. If we were trying to make it a smooth journey of momentum from one to, uh, from the start move to the top, yeah. I think as you were bouncing back and forth here, we absorbed a little bit of the momentum. Mm -hmm. Is there a way you think that you could, uh, when you catch this one, you're swinging this way, right? Yeah. Do you think you could just swing straight back the other way and go straight into the finish move? Yeah. So I'll just show you what I was doing on this earlier when I was warming up. Cool. Very quickly, just because we're going to build on this idea for the rest of the yeah. session. What I think about when I'm doing this is the idea that when I'm off balance mm -hmm. or when I push further into that first barn door, yeah. I have excess momentum which wants to go back the other way. Okay. So by purposefully putting myself on, off balance, I can just give myself even more power for the next move without actually needing to be stronger. That just natural loss of balance swings me into the next move. <laughs> oh, that was it, that was it. Nice. Yeah, it feels weird because when you don't need to do it, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like getting there. But then we're back to, I think, the original idea of like, well, the easiest way for you to do it would be just lank and grab the yeah, jump. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to be doing any of this. This no. is 
intentional dynamic movement practice so it feels more familiar later. Mm. I completely agree. You don't need to be doing any of this like peel back, pogo in nonsense until the distances are bigger, yeah. and then it's really, really helpful to have practiced it. Whenever I practice this stuff, I also feel like I'm massively over-exaggerating everything I'm doing, and mm. I feel a little bit silly. But then when I think about it, I'm like, well, when I say over-exaggerating the moves, what I actually mean is I'm doing the moves at their maximum yeah. uh, extent that they'd need to be done on harder moves. So, mm. okay, cool, I'll practice this. So, when you do this one now, yeah. I, and we'll be looking at this on the other climbs as well, I'm not just thinking about the target holds that I'm getting, I'm thinking really intently about the body positions that I'm aiming for. So when you go for this one, don't just aim to get that hold, aim to land in that shape, yeah. like as far back as you can. Poor Josh is like, wow, Louis's gone into like really intense <laughs> coach mode suddenly. <laughs> go on. No, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. That was really nice. Okay. Really, really momentum nice. Momentum-wise, uh, as in easiness. Oh, that made no sense what I said. But like, oh man, I was like, I'm, I need more coffee. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> what did you say? Like, you don't have to use very much. I'm not using much okay. arms or like much power. So this is what I like about using momentum all the time. Mm. It, I think it makes climbs easier, mm -hmm. but it makes them easier in a specific way and it also makes them harder in other ways. So let's just talk yeah. really clearly about this. I often choose to do a move with like loads of momentum and I'm aiming for like a specific body position. If I do all of that and I guess it right, then it takes very little strength. It just relies on, yeah, timing, confidence. I just mm -hmm. land in a better body position. Yeah. The downside is really small margin for error. I might fall off a hundred times trying that. Yeah. So it's a balance, mm -hmm. but mostly I think about it going, oh, it, it's only less efficient if I fall off it millions of times till mm -hmm. I get it. If I was good enough that I could just do it first time every time, well, then now it's just more efficient, mm -hmm. which is why I then practice it all the time. Okay, just to recap, the first exercise would be find really juggy holds, probably on a vertical or a slabby wall, make up a couple of dinos, and then just experiment and play around with the idea of, oh, how can I smoothly link these two together? Mm -hmm. If you also consider that idea of purposely letting yourself go off balance so you can pendulum back into the next move, that's usually the solution. So experiment with that in a warm-up. That's a really good one to do. Now we're going for a harder climb, so we're probably going to more closely follow the intended beta. Mm -hmm. But now imagine that... Well, not imagine, I think this is true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any move you do yeah. could be along the spectrum of absolutely no momentum, just locking off, reaching for it slowly, mm -hmm. or loads of momentum like we were practicing just then. First off, let's just both climb this like a normal person, as you would choose to just normally climb it if okay. I wasn't here making you do loads of dinos. Okay. Yeah. Oops, sorry, microphone. Ooh, oh, that's a long way. Oh dear. That's a hold. Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> sorry, microphone. <laughs> So our aim now is to do the intended sequence, mm -hmm. but aiming to do each move as far to the momentum end of the spectrum as we can. Okay. So I don't know how well this is going to work, so I've not tried this one, and that hold is slightly worse than I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still somewhat hopeful there might be some cool stuff for us to explore. Okay. So we, first off, we like slowly got on, went hand up, yeah. and then brought foot up. Yeah. I wonder if there's a way we could speed up those moves. Even the start move, I'm now going to... Instead of getting on and doing that, yeah. I'm going to try for... Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, maybe. Maybe, you try. Although well, I might change for an easier one. Because <laughs> this one is Louis hard almost died. <laughs> oh, that's part of practicing dynamic movement, man. Dying. Death. Well, near to death. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you can hold it easily. Okay, so now the uh, we'll one start talking about more. On the last one we were practicing, we yeah. talked about the idea of, oh, if you go further to one side, you get more momentum back the other yeah. way. Two reasons for us to do it on this one. The further we go this side, the better that hold is. Yep. And we then have more momentum swinging us back into go that away. next move. Try again, but now our aim is not to land it there, yeah. but to somehow land it here. Go on. Yeah! Is that not, that's not really what you wanted, but... No, I thought that was lovely. Anyway, so. Now the aim is if we can go even further that way, yeah. we might be able to have not enough momentum just to get the foot there. And then to use it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's getting there. Okay, so I'm going further right. It feels such Try a weird it. setup to be like, I feel yeah, like I'm right. about to run a wedge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hard to get the... No, but did you see what I started doing? Because I, I realised, I was like, ah, oh, from here, yeah. I don't feel like I've got enough purchase 
or enough height that I can swing back comfortably. Mm. So I was jumping up to this one, right. and that was actually starting to feel really good. So I was going to try that a few more times. Okay. Maybe you want to jump to here. That one. That would actually work even better. So we're talking about being purposefully off balance. Yeah. Just having your hands there and your foot here. Yeah. You're always going to barn door that way. Yeah. If you manage to push yourself even further into it, you you can go really fast. Okay. Try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. That was it. Yeah, my ass wasn't out so much. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that is coming together now. Yeah. Oh, oh, lovely. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. So, um, important thing to think about when we're doing this, because actually this is, this is actually going quite well. We're like chaining some good moves together. Whenever I do it though, I do think really clearly about how the aim isn't necessarily to have some successful outcome. Right. It's just playing and experimenting and learning as I go. Mm -hmm. If we did it, awesome. Great. But just by doing this practice, we're still learning loads of cool yeah. stuff anyway. Oh, that mean, now means no one has to do anything. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I can just, <laughs> I need to not stop. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I stopping just... there is a hard place to be. Yeah, no, that is, that is what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's that as I get that foot, I'm not pushing it away. Right. I'm drawing it under me and standing on it. Okay. Then swinging back into the next move. Okay. Very similar to what we practiced over there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That's really that fun. Was beautiful. That was quite nice, right? That was something dreams are made of. Right. Onwards for challenge. Look, if you look just over there, there's a bow bat. Amazing. <laughs> so I'll show you the easier one that okay. I came up with, but I, I think you are gonna do it like within a couple of tries. Okay. Then I'll show you the hard one, which I think is the one we actually go for. Okay. So little foot here, nice big hand hold. Yeah. Swing to stand on here and catch the yellow. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> it can be done better than that. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I'm, I'm now gonna show you the slightly harder ones. I think that'll be okay. the right difficulty. And then we're gonna practice, but something I spend a stupid amount of time doing is finding a dynamic move, practicing it until I can do it, and then practicing it again and again and again and again and again until it feels so easy, it feels hard not to do it, yeah. rather than what I don't want to happen and what used to happen with me on slabs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'd practice slabs, sometimes I'd do them and they felt really hard, then I just never tried them again. Yeah. Then I'd come across them in competitions going, ah, oh, this still oh, feels really yeah. hard. My only experience of doing these moves is that it always feels desperate. Yeah. So repeating them regularly, like we're about to do, mm -hmm. changes the, your perception of it from, oh yeah, it always feels desperate, but I, sometimes I can do it, to, yeah. oh, I do it, and it feels like a warm-up. Tip, because this is actually how I managed to fall off it on my first go. Mm -hmm. um, I, I rushed it. Okay. I, was, I was thinking about getting the handhold and thinking about getting the, the palm press, mm -hmm. and because I was thinking about those, I forgot to think about standing up and balancing. Right. If I focus first on standing up and balancing, that then gives me all the time I need to think about doing the next move. Mm -hmm. So good tip for dynamic movement, don't try and do everything at once, focus on the sequence you're doing it with and just focus on doing each of those steps with the right timing. If you try and rush it, you have to rush it. If you focus on the timing, it doesn't feel like you need to rush anything. Oh. Okay, so actually not a terrible demo. I managed to balance on this and have so much time yeah. that it allowed me to kind of mess up the catch there and there, but still save it. So, okay. all right, your turn. <laughs> Oh, I missed the, the thumb. If you want to, because this is again what I practiced before we started this, yeah. just climb up and feel that position so you know exactly what you're aiming for. You can feel the intensity of it when you arrive there. Yeah, right. it's, it's actually not that bad, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. So now your aim is to slowly land in exactly that position. This is my flash go, everyone. Here we go, here flash we go, the go. flash go. The second flash go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One thing that I think is also really good to talk about when it comes to practicing dynamic moves like this, as we've already said, they're easier when, they get, when you get them right, but the margin for error is a lot smaller, and so it often takes a lot of More attempts. Goes. Be prepared to be persistent, because it might take like 100 tries before you get it. Just notice like small bits of progress. Like You're consistently hitting those holds every time now. Yeah. You're hitting the foot perfectly. I'm very confident if you literally keep trying it, you'll get it and then you'll get it consistently. A lot of people just give up uh, too early and don't then have that experience. Gotta keep going. So literally just keep going. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was it, that was it. Yeah, man. Yeah, that felt, uh, yeah. I that just, looked like it. Just that, slid away. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes! yes. Well done. <laughs> 
do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, up to you how we do this. I usually set myself like arbitrary goals of, okay, when I can do it. I want to do it five, five. times in a go. There we go. go, five times in a row. Perfect, let's do it five That's times in a row. We can also, I often do this as a fun partner exercise. Why don't we try to get to 10 in a row as a team? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we take it in turns. We're on zero at the moment. Maybe I get us one. One. I won't let you down, Louis. Well, I might let you down too, though. It's okay. We're a team. Yeah, two in a row. So good. It's nice that it actually adds a little bit of pressure as well. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to let the other down. Well, exactly, but practicing stuff under pressure is good too. I thought he was going to fall off then, not going to lie. Oh no! no! I'll start again. All right, cool. One in a row. Yeah. Almost, you, that was my Very worst. Good. Well, apart from the times I didn't fall off, I'd say that was my worst one. But it's but nice. You can that, always just stop on. I know, I know. But this hold. is what's nice is like as you get more consistent with it, your standard for success starts changing. Yeah, yeah. And now like you doing it, but doing it badly, you're like, oh, that was a bad one. Yeah. yeah it's already a huge improvement. The uh, other one that people sometimes don't notice when they're practicing this stuff and doing it more consistently, they get really annoyed when they fall off it, having done it like three times in a row. They're like, mm. no, I'm never going to do it five times in a row. But then still the best they've ever done. Yeah, it, exactly. So, yeah. I'm like, oh, think about it this way. It, the first time you did it, it took 100 tries. Yeah. Then you fell off 50 more times before you did it a second time. Yeah. Then you fell off 25 more times before you did it twice in a row. Then you did it three times in a row, then fell off a few more times. Like, you can see that you're see getting more and more consistent. Yeah. But Oh, I'm nervous now. <laughs> Oh. No, it's starting to get to that point where it's hard not to do the move. Because we've now done it successfully so many times. We've done it badly so many times. Louis. He can't possibly fail it this Louis. time. <laughs> Number 10. So just to recap on the stuff we've been practicing so far. First thing Josh and I did, which I'd really recommend you do in your own sessions. We got on jug ladders. We were making up dinos and then working out how to link those dinos together. That's a really, really fun exercise and teaches you a lot. We then took what we learned in that exercise onto a mid-level boulder, nothing too difficult, where, as you saw, we could both climb it with the intended sequence, no problem first go. The aim is to then do each move with as much momentum as you can and try and start flowing your way through the movements rather than pulling your way into the different body positions. Now onto the third challenge, which is Find a tricky coordination move. Um, this one took us a few goes to get the first time. Maybe it will be that there's a set coordination move in the gym, which is about the level you want to work at. Maybe it's a move you've done before once, or maybe like we're doing, you just make up your own little running jumps or toe hook catches or paddle dinos, whatever it might be. Practice it until you can do it once. Then you set yourself a challenge of how many times can you do it. It doesn't actually matter if you achieve that challenge, but the aim is just stay with it a little bit longer, keep practicing it until it feels more familiar, and then eventually you get to the point that Josh is where he's like, oh, I can't not do this move anymore. It's so easy. Now we go and do another one. Cool. Challenge number two. I've now just got a different style of coordination move that I made up for Josh. Uh, we're going to do a fun paddle dino double catch thing. Almost impaled yourself on the, the battleship. Well, don't, don't impale yourself on the battleship. Have you thing. seen how much longer my legs are than you? How close was I? Uh, you look like the Eiffel Tower, that, you know, the small one that you buy in gift shops. I am the real <laughs> Eiffel Tower. <laughs> how close was I to the volume though? I didn't think I was that close. This, this much. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay, so two hands to this. Yeah. Into the blue, into the pink. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Uh, wonderful. Oh, okay, perfect. So now I was kind of hoping you'd fall off it so we could talk about it a little okay. bit more. Um, well, I did that for you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. So, um, paddle dinos, I think, look, and this is what we're doing now, where you catch a hold. If it was a worse hold, like it was a sloper, we wouldn't yeah. be able to stay there. We'd have to then paddle or jump to the next two holds. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's all in the arms. Yeah. Watch my legs really carefully while okay. I'm doing it. I think it's basically all in the legs. Uh, do you know what I mean by a, by a lache on a bar? No. Oh, so, okay. Um, if this is more for like calisthenics and stuff, yeah. if I wanted to swing off this, okay, yeah. I would do this. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I'd like, whoop, la whoa, it is close. I you know. Right. <laughs> it is kind of close. So, yeah, a lache is when you like swing off a bar like that. Yeah. When I do this move, I kind of jump into it, not with the intention of landing directly underneath the hold I'm going okay. from, but catching it basically in that lache position. Right. So, that as I catch it, I just naturally swing, swing my legs anyway. and bounce me straight to the next ones. Okay. So, have a look at. Watch Not just what my hands are doing. Yeah, what, yeah. Watch, watch around here. Watch your booty. Watch my booty. Watch that booty. Ah, <laughs> oh. I was mesmerised by the booty. I don't know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. 
Nice. Did yeah. I flick though? I didn't feel like I did. I felt like I was just. Oh, that was better that time. That was better. I felt better. better. Okay. I think my hips point a different direction as I do the move, but mm. let's look and compare in a minute. So here's Josh's one. God, I look good in slow mo. Yeah, you do, man. Look at you go. Your hips are facing to the wall or left leg kind of pointing leftwards. Yeah. Watch what my lower body does. As I jump to catch this one, look where I'm throwing my legs. Yeah. I'm intentionally throwing, throwing them that way. Yeah. And then, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. My hips are pointed straight in the direction I want to go. Right. And I'm pogoing really hard with the right leg right. to then throw me into that next catch. Okay. Again, just picking up on the very first exercise we did. Mm. It's the same position same again. Position. It's the same position once more. <laughs> Try that again. Yes, yes, oh. much, much, much better. That's a win. That's a win. Now, do it with catchy the holds. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I thought so. that was good enough, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done for the day. Yes! So good, Josh. Yes! So, so it good. So much, it feels, when you do it, you're like, oh, it's easy, but then, yeah. until then, it feels really hard. Well, that's one out of ten. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, he can't fail! Yes. I really didn't think I was going to do that. I know. Again, like, in a, you know, in a row. I'm happy. Okay. Oh, see, I told you you could stop there. I'll count it. I'll count okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The count? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to count that. No one say anything in the comments. I'm, <laughs> I'm watching you. I know where you live. Oh no. oh no! That was nine! Oh. All right. I knew it'd be me, you know? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you all knew it'd be me too, but... <laughs> so, just a quick few extra tips for everyone at home. Um, we're still doing the same exercise as we were a few minutes ago, where we're just picking a tricky-ish coordination move and trying to lap it repeatedly to gain confidence and uh, competency with that move. Uh, some extra tips on paddle dinos, though, which I think are coming up more and more often. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of jumping to the hold and then trying to, like, pull really hard to get to the next one. As we saw with Josh and I working on it, it's all in the legs. As you jump to it, try and have your legs and your hips trailing behind you so that when you catch, you can naturally swing with the legs and almost like a lache movement in gymnastics or calisthenics, swing and then catch the next two with most of the power coming from like pogoing the legs. Right, I'm off this way now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing this. Let's start with doing it off the red and off the You're volume. You're trying to stop on the volume. I'm trying to stop on the two volumes, but as you saw, I kind of intentionally let go of the red jug to yeah. force the move. Right. Ooh. Oh, okay, no, I think this is about the right difficulty. <laughs> so addictive, like I just want to keep going. Yeah, I know. Oh, what am I doing differently? I'm lower and further out on the volume. Yeah. And I'm also, um, I think this is where the confidence of knowing that I can stick the move comes in. Yeah. If I was thinking about not sticking the move, there's no way I'd like lean in at all. Yeah. If I was thinking that I probably wasn't going to stick the move, I'd naturally lean out a little bit. Right. Which then makes it next to impossible to actually stick the move. Right. So think about sticking the move, about sticking the move. and soften into it as you land. Okay. Is that a good like soften into it mime? <laughs> Yeah, that was it, that was it. Oh, slightly different movement that time and that actually felt loads better. Uh -huh. So instead of pushing here, switching feet on that side with my left foot first, man, that felt so much better and it felt really cool as well. Push there to flip onto the right foot uh -huh. and then step out and get it. Oh, oh do you almost close, it? almost. I feel like I need more speed on it to like flick around. I need to hump the wall harder. I don't think I said that in the <laughs> tips, but... Yes! <sighs> there we go. Oh. There. One out of ten. What? <laughs> no, sorry, that wasn't the rating of how well you did it. <laughs> no, oh, I, ten out of ten. No, I knew what you were saying. He needs to go do it ten times. <laughs> Josh. It's crazy how you do it once. Right. <laughs> and then you and then like, oh god, I gotta do it that many times, and then you just keep doing it. Yes! Away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna do that. Thank you, Josh. That was lovely. That was lovely. Um, <laughs> that sounded sarcastic. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't like, it wasn't sarcastic. Thank you, you Josh. Really good. That was lovely. It was slightly thrown off by you grabbing my butt. I was gonna grab it, I was gonna play. 
Oh, well, that's actually really fun, so I want to do it again now. <laughs> that was as wonderful as I wanted it to be. I thought it might be. Yeah, that was great. Okay, good. Thank you, Josh. You were Thank amazing. You. Oh. Um, do you want to recap on some tips that yeah, we just re done? Yeah, recap for the, the viewers. Right, so, tip number one. Explore dynamic movement in an easy setting while you're warming up on juggy climbs. Make up one dyno, make up a second dyno, and then try and chain them together using as little power as you can to end up with the most fluid sequence. We then explored the idea of purposefully letting yourself go off balance so you have more momentum to feed into the next move. Then we took that learning onto, this was exercise two, medium grade boulders, which you can probably flash with the normal sequence, but you're then trying to do every move with as much momentum as co and confidence as possible to make it feel more familiar when that style is actually required, which it obviously wasn't on the climbing <laughs> practice. Then final challenge which is what Josh and I just had a brilliant time doing. Pick a few quite tricky dynamic moves, coordinated stuff that takes you a few attempts to get or lots of attempts to get. <laughs> and then when you get it, don't run away and assume that you're done. Do it again and again and again and give yourself some kind of challenge which gets you trying to do it over and over again. You get a lot more confident and a lot more consistent with it. Like as you saw multiple times, Josh was struggling to get the move, started to be a bit unsure if it would work at all, then managed it once, it felt okay. And then we literally got to the point where he was doing it 10 times in a row and finding it pretty easy. So yeah. really well done, man. That was some oh, great practice. coaching. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, the coaching helps, and this one single session would help. What I'd really hope Josh does regularly now is that he goes away and practices this stuff regularly at the start of every session. Then you would kick my ass in like every comp, because then you'd be tall <laughs> as the Eiffel Tower and strong and have crazy wild dance moves. I do Pretty have good. good dance moves. You do have good dance moves. Yeah. Right, I'm going to dance my way off this way. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out Catalyst. And uh, I will... the dance? Yeah, and subscribe. <laughs> I'll join Louis dancing. <laughs> see ya. Bye, <laughs> It's the end. Love, love you, my peace. Bye, see you later. <laughs>